you only have about 60 seconds. The whole point is that you're going to try and roast them off until they're all black on the outside and fingers crossed we'll have nice soft squishy roasted garlic in the middle to put through mashed potato tomorrow. Okay I've just got some chunky red ember left in the fire at the end of this evening's burn because it's quite warm in here at the minute and inside I've just been roasting with some garlic on the hellfire grill. So hopefully they'll be nice and squishy when they come out. It looks really black, but it should be nice and soft and not burnt in the inside because it's protected. You can hear it sizzling away. I'm going to give that another few minutes yet though. Right, so hot red embers. And I've been roasting my garlic now for, I don't know, seven or eight minutes maybe. And this is my new toy. And it's a stainless steel chip that is ever so handy. So we should do nice. All these are protected on the outside. And what's inside is nice and soft. That'll be really nice tomorrow for some mashed potatoes. So, here's the second one. You can see it all juicy in the middle. All the paper is just coming away easy. It's going to be nice, eh? Huge garlic. I just dug in the box in the middle. There was little ones on the top and lots of big ones in the bottom. And these were only about £40. And it's huge. You can see the size of my hand. Massive garlic. And it's kind of opened up a bit like a flower. You can see it all in the middle. And it's nice and soft. See, look. It's too hot really to handle yet. But they're going to be nice and squishy on the inside. I'll make the most awesome garlic bread. Well, this is all the paper stuff that's come off the outside of the garlic bulbs. And I've decided just to put them back in for another minute or two. Without all that on. Because I think I can caramelise them off a good bit more. They are squishy, but I think we can make them just that bit better. Sometimes you burn things the first time you try it, sometimes you don't. But it's the only way to learn. Can you hear it sizzling? here helping tonight we're just doing a bit of an experiment we're going to cut a few of the tops off because these are red hot just the tops off each individual one side and give them a wee squish and see if they're ready yet yeah see if you can squeeze it out they're not hot are they yeah, they're nice and soft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you get his fingers in the picture. It's all right. But as you can see, this is what I like. They're just all nice and cooked through it and caramelised. So that'll make awesome garlic bread or through mash. through some butter and make a garlic butter pat. <laughs> 